Hello everyone and welcome to Total Body. My name is Brittany. I'm going to be taking you all through a 30 minute full body workout. We've got some upper body, some lower body, some core with some short bursts of cardio in between. So let's go ahead and get started. Make sure you have a floor mat to lay down on for some ab work and some dumbbells of your choice. Maybe take it up a notch if you're ready or maybe just switch it out between exercises. Make sure to be using dumbbells that are comfortable for you throughout the um, duration of this workout and then some water. So let's get started with that warm up. Go ahead and just lift one knee up. Hold it here for a quick second. Feel that stretch in your leg and switch it out. And switch. And then get one more and meet me at standing. You're just gonna grab one foot, hold it up here. Feel that stretch in your quad and swap it out. All right, one more on each side. Okay, right here, go ahead and meet me and step it back. You're gonna take it into this reverse lunge. Curve your torso over that front knee and feel that stretch in your spine. Your reverse lunge, your, nuff, your back knee should hover slightly above the ground. And your front knee should be right above that front heel. You don't want it going too far over that front toe. We're just gonna work on getting that heart rate up. So let's get one more down. Meet me at standing. Right here, we're gonna work on some high knee running in place. So go ahead and try to meet those knees to your hands if you were to hold your, knee, your hands out right in front of you. We'll do this for about 10 more seconds and we'll pause before we bring it into some butt kicking running. All right, pause. Right here, we got butt kickers. Get that heart rate up. For five, four, three, two, one. All right, right here. Go ahead and take it into those stepping out to one side and stretching your arm over your head. Feeling that stretch along the side of your torso. Breathing in through your nose, out through your mouth. One more and we'll swap to the other side, right here. Feeling that stretch. So as you prepare for this workout, go ahead and set your intentions for the rest of these 30 minutes. Drop any sort of negative energy and stay with me for 30 minutes. Really thanking your body for all the hard work it's gonna do. All right, right here, go ahead and cross one arm over the other. And as you open and close those arms, feel the stretch in your shoulders and in your chest. And then right here, we'll do one more, both ways, okay? Now go ahead and reach one finger to the opposite toe and bring it back up to standing for some windmills. You can feel the stretch in the back of your hamstrings. Next up, we'll, do, we'll take it into some jumping jacks. One more. All right, right here we got jumping jacks. Getting that heart rate up. One. Okay, right here we're gonna take it into some inchworms. Go ahead and meet me at standing feet, shoulder width apart. Reach down for your toes and then go ahead and walk it out into a high push-up position. Shoulders over those um, elbows, elbows over those palms, and then just go ahead and walk it back up. You can go at your own pace. You can go quicker than me or slower than me. And that's true for the rest of this workout. You don't always have to keep up with my pace when we're doing exercises. Do what's comfortable, but challenging for you. All right, right here, go ahead and take your last inchworm and we're gonna take it into our first cardio portion of this workout. I hope you're feeling warm. Go ahead and grab a quick sip of water if you want. I'm gonna demo what we're doing next. 
It's just gonna be two exercises, 20 seconds on, 10 seconds of rest in between, and we're gonna go through it twice. So, we just have first up, lateral hops. You're just gonna stand hands on your hips if, that, if that's comfortable, or down by your side, and then you're just gonna pretend that there's a line going vertically in front of you, and you wanna jump to one side over the line, and then the other side, and you're gonna make them quick. 20 seconds. Next up, we got speed skaters. So go ahead, stand feet shoulder width apart, and you're just gonna jump it out laterally to on one side and bring the opposite knee behind you. So I'll show you. Jump it back one way and the other way. You're trying to get as much surface area as possible with every single jump. So those are our two exercises. I'm gonna go ahead and, get, and start the timer. So get ready for me with those lateral hops in three, two, one, 20 seconds. We're hopping over the line, one side at a time, making them quick. Because there's only 20 seconds of hard work here and we're already over halfway done. Five, four, two, one. Okay, shake it out. 10 seconds to rest here before we take it into 20 seconds of speed skaters. Right here, 20 seconds of speed skaters. You jump one side and swap it to the other. You, if you want, you could always just take it into a step. If that's more comfortable, maybe jumping is not right for you today. If not, get as much surface area with every jump. Last one. Okay, we got 10 seconds to rest here. Take a deep breath of air and prepare for those lateral hops. We're going once more. Right here, 20 seconds. Jumping over that line. Working those calves, getting these little jumps for 10 more seconds. Seven. Feel your heart rate increase in three, two, one. Okay, 10 seconds of rest, and we're taking you into another set of speed skaters. In three, two, one. One, jump it out, one side at a time. If you want to incorporate the arms, maybe make it a little bit more speed skater-like. Five more seconds, four, three, two, one. All right, 10 seconds of rest. Actually, we're gonna go through the circuit one more time. So we're gonna repeat that lateral hop for 20 more seconds. Right here. Sorry, you didn't think you were done yet, did you? 10 more seconds. For five, four, three, two, one. Great job, 10 seconds of rest, and then we're actually gonna do our last exercise of this cardio circuit, which again, we're doing those speed skaters for the last time, for real. Right here, 20 seconds. Jump it out, one side to the other. Feeling your heart rate spike. Seven more seconds. Three, two, one, great job. Get some water, breathe some air, shake it out. Get ready because we have some upper body work coming your way. So you're gonna use those dumbbells, dumbbells of your choice. So, for this part, we have 30 seconds of hard work 10 seconds of rest in between, and we're gonna go through this one twice. So that first exercise, it's just gonna be a bicep curl, so your palms face the front of the room. Meet them to your shoulders, flip them out so that the palms now face the front of the room, and then push it up for that, sho for that shoulder press and repeat. We've got a bicep curl to a shoulder press. Second up, we have a row to kickback. Get in your um, normal stance, feet shoulder width apart, you're gonna hand up the hips with a nice slight bend in the knees, and you're gonna take it into a row. So your dumbbells should be hanging right out by your knees right here, and then you're gonna drive your elbows to meet the top of the room with that row. Right here, 
ticket to the kickback. We've got a row to a kickback. Okay, next up after that, we have a front raise to a lateral raise. So this time your dumbbells are gonna face your thighs and you're just gonna bring them up using your shoulders for that front raise directly in front of your, um, your chest and then lower it back down. And then you're gonna take it into a lateral raise. So right here, you're gonna make that T position. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and start the timer, pick up those weights and prepare to meet me for the bicep curl to a shoulder press in three, two, one. 30 seconds. So we're starting out with that bicep curl. You're turning them out laterally, pushing them up overhead for that shoulder press. Once again, I forgot to start the timer, sorry. Okay, now the real work starts. So we have 30 seconds here. And once again, just remember, you do not have to follow my pace. If I'm going too quick for you, maybe slow it down or vice versa, whatever is good for you. We got 10 more seconds here. So try to really focus on those movements as you feel your biceps contract and you use those shoulders put to push it overhead. Last one, we got 10 seconds to rest here. You know what's next. It's that row to a tricep kickback in five seconds. Three, two, one, right here. Bring it out for that row. Use those triceps to kick back those dumbbells to the back of the room and then lower your dumbbells back to your knees like you're putting them in your pockets. 15 seconds left here. Remembering to breathe. As you lower those dumbbells, make sure to lower them down slowly, working against gravity. Three, two, one. Okay, shake it out, 10 seconds to rest. Next up, front raise, two lateral raise coming your way. Three, two, one. Use those, use those shoulders, bring those dumbbells up in front of you for your front raise. And then repeat, going laterally. 20 seconds left to go here. Breathing in through your nose and out through your mouth. Exhaling as you bring those dumbbells up. Inhaling on the way down. For five, three, two, one. 10 seconds of rest here. We've got the bicep curl to shoulder press. Coming right up in three, two, one. Focus on the bicep contraction. Turn those dumbbells out, push them over your head, squeeze and lower it back down, slowly and controlled. 15 seconds to go here. We're gonna go through this circuit once more. And then we have some lower body work, my personal favorite. Hope you're pumped. All right, 10 seconds of rest here. Next up, we've got your, tri your um, row to tricep kickback. Right here, take it into that hip hinge position. Bring those dumbbells up for that row. Kick them towards the back of the room, feeling that tension in your triceps and repeat. On that um, row, it should almost be like your back two shoulder blades are touching on your way up because you're contracting your back muscles so hard. 10 more seconds. Three, two, one. Okay, we've got another rest and we're gonna take it into the front raise to the lateral raise before we get a nice break and take it into lower body. Two, one. Bring them up for your front raise Lower them down slowly and take it into your lateral raise. Focusing on that descent, working against gravity, feeling it in our shoulders, trying to keep your dumbbells about shoulder height. Five more seconds. Three, two, one. Okay, great job. I hope you're having fun. I hope those arms are hurting a little, but the good kind of hurt. Because that means working hard. Next up, we have lower body. So this is gonna be three exercises. Well, two exercises. 
The first one is just your basic air squat, and your second one is gonna be a lunge, but we're gonna do it on both sides, so that's why I said three. So the first one is your air squat. If you want, you can use dumbbells for this. I'll show you how that would look. You'll hold them down by your sides. Get with your feet shoulder width apart. Your weight is gonna be maintained in those heels. Lower it down as if you're sitting into a chair, and bring it right back up. Standard air squat. Next up, you've got a reverse lunge, so stay with your um, feet shoulder width apart. Take one foot. We did this in the warm up. Step it back in line with that front heel and your back knee hovers slightly above the ground. So we're gonna hit, I did them just now reversing sides, but you're actually just gonna stay on one side. So that would look just like this. And we're gonna burn out that one single leg for 30 whole seconds and switch to the other side. So I'm gonna go ahead and start the timer. Take your last breath of air. Well, you should breathe during the workout too, but Starting the timer in three, two, one. 30 seconds of air squats, choosing to use those weights if you want. If not, body weight is good enough. Maintaining those weight, that weight in those heels. Option here, add a calf raise at the end to take it up a notch. Or you can even add a hop at the end if you really want to take it up a notch. Five more seconds right here. Last one, okay. 10 seconds of rest here. We're taking it into those reverse lunges on one side. I'm gonna start with this leg, so that means after that, I'll switch to the other side. Three, two, one. So I'm just stepping it back, bringing it to standing, and repeating. If you wanna take it into a knee drive at the end to add a little bit, that's okay. If not, just meet me right here for this reverse lunge, burning out that one single side. Back knee hovers right above the ground. Five more seconds. Three, two, one. Okay, 10 seconds of rest here. We're gonna burn out that other leg. <sighs> right here, opposite side, meet me now. This really targets those glutes. Like I said, lower body work is my personal favorite. So I hope you're having as fun as I am right now. 10 more seconds. Keep it up for three, two, one. 10 seconds of rest here, we're repeating with those air squats. Three, two, one. Okay, right here, feet shoulder width apart, weight in those heels. We sit back into that chair and we squeeze at the top. Really working those quads and those glutes. 10 more seconds here. Don't forget, you can always drop those weights if they're not in your practice today. Last one. Okay, we got 10 seconds to rest here. You know what's coming. It's those reverse lunges. In three, two, one. Step it back and repeat. For those reverse lunges on one side, really feeling that one leg, burn it out. Keep it up for 15 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, 10 seconds of rest. I just fell out of it. If you ever lose your balance, or maybe it's not your best rep, that's okay, get back into it. That's what this is all about. Right here, last 30 seconds of this lower body circuit. We've got a short, another little cardio burst coming your way after we close out this circuit. So get through the last 15 seconds of reverse lunges on this side before I demo what's coming your way for some cardio work. Five more seconds. Keep it up. Stay tough. For three, two, one. Okay, great job. 
You made it through the lower body circuit. Get some water, you should be proud. You've made it really far. Don't give up yet. Or keep up the good work, I should say. Okay, so for that next cardio portion, what we have are two exercises, same style as earlier. It'll be 20 seconds on, 10 seconds of rest, and we're gonna go through it three times. And what we're gonna be doing are running mans and jumping jacks. So we did the jumping jack in the warm up, I think. I don't think we did actually, <laughs> sorry. But we're getting in that same push up position that we've been doing, and you're just gonna bring one knee to the opposite elbow for that running man, and you can take it quick if you want, hence the running. And then we've got that jumping jack. So just go ahead and stand, arms by your thighs, and take it up overhead, jumping out, feet apart, hands meeting overhead. Okay? So, starting the timer for 20 seconds for that second cardio portion in three, two, one. We're starting with that running now. So get low in that push up position, trying not to let your bottom reach up to the ceiling like a mountain. You don't want any mountains here. Try to keep your body in one straight line for three, two, one. Great job. Get some air. For five more seconds, we we're gonna rest before we do the jumping jumps. Right here. 20 seconds to jump it out with those jumping jumps. Feel that heart rate increase. Five more seconds. Three, two, one. Great job, 10 seconds of rest. We're going into that running man once more. Three, two, one. Run it out as fast as you can, or maybe just step it out. You can take that knee to the opposite elbow and just step it out with every single rep whatever's comfortable but challenging for you three two one ten seconds to rest here we got jumping jack three two one jump it out for those jumping jacks maintaining that steady breath Working on that cardio for 10 more seconds. Two, one. Okay, we're going through this once more in five more seconds. Right here, running man, 20 seconds. So we'll do this, close it out with our last set of jumping jacks. We're here for so short time. You can do anything for less than a minute. Three, two, one. Get your last um, rest it break before we take it in. Two jumping jacks. Three, two, one. 20 seconds. Like I said, you can do anything for 20 seconds. So really work hard on these jumping jacks. Get your heart rate as high as possible because you have a rest period coming right after. In five, four, three, two, one. Great job, get your water. Prepare for abs if you need your mat, go ahead and get it. So, like I said, we've got some ab work coming your way. Three movements. We're only going to go through it one time because we're a little short on time. But those movements are scissor kicks, leg lift, and sit up with a double punch. So, we've got 30 seconds on, 10 seconds of rest in between. So that first movement is your scissor kick. Bringing one foot over the other, making a little scissor. Next up, take it laying down for that leg lift. 
using your abs to pull those legs up. Last, you're gonna bring it into a sit up, punch each way, and repeat. All right, I'm starting the timer in three, two, one. Right here, we've got those scissor kicks for 30 seconds. If you want, you can keep that um, head lifted above the ground for a little bit extra upper ab work with these lower leg scissor kicks. 10 seconds to go here before we take it into those leg lifts. Like I said, this is closing out our 30 minute workout. So give it all you got. All right, lay it down. We've got our leg lift. Oh, sorry, we're resting for three, two, one. Now we're taking it into leg lift. We've got 30 seconds. Really feeling those lower abs working hard as you lift those legs up, toes reaching for the ceiling. I have my um, hands placed under my bottom for a little bit extra support, but that's comfortable for you. Five more seconds. Last one. All right, 10 seconds of rest here. We're taking it into those sit-ups with a double punch. In three, two, one. This is our last 30 seconds of the workout. How hard can you punch? How many sit-ups can you fit in for 20 more seconds? Finish out strong. Give it all you got. 15 more seconds. Really feeling the, the burn in our abs. Embrace it for 10 more seconds. Punch hard for three, two, one. Great job. All right. Well, that is the closing of our workout. Let's go ahead and take it into a cool down. You can stay laying down if that's comfortable for you. I'm gonna bring it into the seal stretch after those abs to really stretch out our core. So go ahead and just have your hands planted into the ground and look up towards the ceiling to maybe feel a little bit extra stretch in your abs. You wanna have your elbows straight and you don't want your um, shoulders contracted like this. Try to really lengthen out your spine and your neck with this, ex with this stretch. And then you can go ahead and switch to one side, feeling the stretch in the side of your body. Similar idea, try to keep your neck and spine long and tall, pushing in at those palms. All right, go ahead and swap it out, other side. Really thanking your body for all of its hard work within these last 30 minutes. That was tough, so thanks for sticking through it with me. Okay, go ahead, right here, we're gonna take it into this downward dog, and you're gonna bring one heel planted into the ground and bend the other knee, and then swap it out. And as you switch each side, the straight leg should feel that nice stretch in your hamstrings, in the backs of your calves. Go ahead and walk it out once more. Then go ahead and try to meet your feet, your hands. And if you can, keep your fingers down, reaching for your toes. Again, feeling that stretch in your hamstrings. If you maybe don't reach your toes, go ahead and just grab one elbow and the other elbow and swing low. Feeling comfortable for you. And then when you're ready, bring it up to standing, curving one vertebrae at a time. And then go ahead and meet me. We're gonna go ahead and cross one arm over the other, stretching out that chest. And then you can go ahead and grab one arm, pull it over your chest, and feel that stretch in your shoulder after all that upper body work. Hold it here. All right. Again, one arm over the other. Right here. Okay, bring it down and grab one elbow, pulling it over your head, feeling the stretch in your triceps from all those tricep kickbacks that we did. And then you can go ahead and swap it out to the other side. 
This will be our last stretch. Okay, breathe it in, lower it down. Thank you so much for signing on with me today. Thanks, you did a great job today. You should be proud of yourself for signing on and, give, and giving these 30 minutes to your body. So I will see you next week.